Hello, thank you for joining me today. This is day one of five days of foundation. And today I am testing out the Laura Geller Cover Lock Cream Foundation. If you wanna see how I created this eyeshadow look, this will be in a later video coming up. It will be my three looks, one palette with the Pure Barbie Endless Possibilities palette. And before we dive into the first foundation for this week of Five Days of Foundation, I want to share with you a bracelet that I am wearing. I did do an unboxing of these three bracelets over on my Instagram. So if you're interested, you can check that out. The link is down below. I received these three bracelets from Sunflower Pop, and I will be creating some looks with these and wearing them in future videos. So I just wanted to kind of talk about them real quick before I get into the foundation. I'm going to create some fall fashion looks with these three different bracelets. And I'm for sure going to do kind of a lookbook style over on Instagram, but I'm interested to know if you would like to see a video where it's just kind of a lookbook style video of showing different fall looks. Let me know if you would like to see a full YouTube video on fall lookbook type styles. Let me know down below. So I hope that you don't mind that I just take up a small snippet of this video talking about the bracelets. I received these, like I said, they were gifted from the Sunflower Pop bracelets. I think I've said it in a different video, but I went to school for fashion marketing and worked at Claire's and their corporate offices. So jewelry has always been important to me. The owner of the company is Audrey. She started making bracelets as a freshman in college for her friends and family. And then she just kept getting requests and they were building up. So she decided to open an Etsy shop. And that was in May of 2018. And then recently created her own website to sell them this on. This is the Pop Up Green. This one is $6. Floral Fun is what I'm wearing in today's video. And this is the pop of floral. And you have a charm in between the white beads and then the floral beads. And this one is $8. And they are all stretchy. The beads kind of feel like a rubberized bead. And I just think that they're really cool and could have a lot of fun with them. They are based in Alabama. And I do have a code. Um, it is not an affiliate code, so I don't get anything back if you purchase through this code. I will leave the link to her store down below. But if you use the code, you will get 15% off your order. So that is cool. You don't have to use it, but hey, who doesn't love saving this money? This is the Cover Lock Cream Foundation. And the color I have is porcelain. This is, retails for $38. And here is what the container looks like. I'm going to put the e.l.f. Pore Putty Primer on this side of my face to see how it reacts differently. So while that is soaking in, we'll go ahead and put foundation on this side of the face. I'm gonna use a e.l.f. This is a buffing foundation brush. So it says to use, apply a small amount to the face with fingertips, sponge, or brush, starting from the center of the face and blending outwards. Repeat application until desired coverage achieved. Let's start with putting it on with the fingers. And if you, whoa, that seems like a lot. If you like to put on foundation with your fingers, it does seem like it spreads pretty good using your fingers. And it seems like a little goes a long way. So I don't usually wear foundation. I just kind of use wear it every once in a while. I'm really having this problem lately every time I try to put foundation. I don't know if you can see. I guess that is my pores right here. It seems to just be getting a little bit cakey right there. So I'm going to go in with the brush. Let's see. And so I think with this you could either do 
fingers or brush. They both seem to spread it out pretty good. Let's put it on the forehead. Let's use the brush only. So I'll just put a tiny dab on the brush. Yeah, definitely a little goes a long way with this. Let's put it on the other side and I will do it using the same techniques to apply. So we'll use the finger, but this time I'm going to go in a little bit lighter. Yeah, a little too much, I think. Okay, so if you use, I don't know obviously about other primers, but the e.l.f. Pore Putty Primer this seems to not smooth out as well with fingers as it does without a primer. The brush, so if you're using the e.l.f. Pore Putty Primer in this foundation, I'd probably use a brush rather than your fingers. It just seems like it smooths on a little bit better and blends out better with the brush when you have the putty primer on. I'll go ahead and put a little bit on the brush. I actually think that my pores show less on the side without the e.l.f. pore putty primer. I feel like my pores right here show a little bit more using that primer underneath. So when I go to use this foundation again, I will use it without primer. And again, I think that if you are not using primer, either your fingers or your brush would be good to apply it. Using a primer, probably your brush or your sponge is gonna be your best bet on applying. It seemed like it blended better. I'm gonna spray just the bottom of my face with the Mario Badesco, the rose oil. I don't want to get it on my eyes, but just kind of down here just to kind of moisten that all up. For concealer, I'm using the Clinique. This is the line smoothing concealer in color O2 light. <laughs> I'm going to go in with the Revolution. This is the cream blush palette, and I'm going to use this bright pink. I'm just taking my powder brush, I'm not adding any more powder to it, and I'm just going to go over that just to kind of tone that down a little bit. And for highlighter, I'm using one of my favorites, the Ofra Rodeo Drive. This is the Sigma Fan F41 brush. Here is the finished look. Okay, so now that I have finished my face, Let's just talk about my first initial thoughts. I will be doing a check-in and kind of at the end of the day, let you know how this wore throughout. For me personally, I liked the side without the pore putty primer. So going forward, I probably am not going to use any primer with this. It'll seem to go a really long way. This again is color is porcelain. So if you have similar skin tone as mine, that would probably be the color you'd want to check out and this is made in the US. So I have had this foundation on now for about seven hours. So I thought that I would come on here and tell you how it held up. 
So again, the e.l.f. pore putty is on this side of my face. Spray my face once today with this Mario Bardesco, the rose water. And I do have semi-dry skin, probably more combination to dry skin around my chin area and forehead. And I feel like this kind of is starting to break up a little bit and kind of just settle into the fine lines and looking a little bit dry on my forehead and around my chin area. I actually think that the side with the pore putty, poreless primer, with the e.l.f. poreless primer, it did look a little more hydrating, but I did feel like my pores actually showed a little bit more with the side with the pore primer. But again, it did look a little more hydrating overall. I do like this foundation. I feel like I would use it without a primer for me personally. And I don't know if it really would really be a long wearing foundation for me. I don't wear foundation a lot, but I really want to try out different ones. That's why I'm doing this five days of foundation. See if I can find one that really works for me. I think that this one just showed a little bit too much of my pores and was just still drying on my chin. I think that for me, I'd have to mix it in with some kind of dry. I use this more as like a spot foundation and just maybe a little bit on my face, but not a full coverage foundation for me personally. But after about seven hours, I do feel like it's starting to look a little dry, but overall, I think for seven hours that it's still holding up pretty good. And this is a side with no primer. And this is the side with the e.l.f. primer. So I'd love to know down below what you think if you have tried this foundation. Do you think that it performed on my skin after about seven hours? And I forgot to mention that there will be a giveaway. So make sure you come back every day to learn more details and leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and tune in tomorrow to see what foundation we try next. Bye.